I want to encourage you to um, not say it's unprecedented. I want to encourage you to not think we don't have any examples here of what to do. We do. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi, welcome to Going Deeper and Happy Thanksgiving. I'm uh, looking at some headlines uh, asking for um, Thanksgiving plans to be restricted. Uh, remember the afflicted on Thanksgiving is a, another one here. More than uh, 200,000 dead since March is what this is saying right here. Cities are locked down and the vaccine trials are underway. Um, and there's a holiday message here. See that Thanksgiving celebrations are restricted as much as possible so as to prevent another flare-up. That isn't about Thanksgiving 2020. That's, those are from papers uh, 1918 when the uh, H1N1 flu uh, virus invaded this country and the entire world. Uh, so w when people say this, this is unprecedented, no it isn't. Over 600,000 Americans died back then, back in 1918, 1919. So here more than a, a century ago, uh, our ancestors were given wear mask orders and millions were mourning people that had died and um, and then you know here comes November um, of 1918 Armistice Day the end of World War One and people flooded the streets and um, and so in in October of, of uh, two, uh, in October of 1918 the, the virus killed 195,000 people in October alone. Just October. It's crazy. Well, uh, there were people that saw Thanksgiving coming and they wanted uh, people to re be restricted. And just like today, they asked people to stay home. The Anti-Mask League of San Francisco was formed. They said they would not would not wear masks. They had a big celebration of burning the mask in San Francisco. Now all of this comes from an amazing book uh, by Howard Markle and it's called The American Influenza Epidemic 2018-2019. And there's a big headline saying mask, flu mask to be ousted on Thanksgiving. Um, Here's what the San Francisco Examiner reported November 13th, 1918. Thanksgiving Day will be celebrated in San Francisco by the discarding of gauze mask if the present rate of decrease in, in influenza continues. So they were into this and they said they joyously discarded their mask on Thanksgiving Day. So the Sunday after Thanksgiving, Churches said, we are not going to stand for the suppression by an autocracy. We're going to worship and we're going to get everybody together. And so there was another wave of this flu because of people getting together in Thanksgiving. It was a renewed grip all over the country of this pandemic. And um, on November the 27th, the day before Thanksgiving, St. Louis reported the highest new daily case count since the epidemic had begun. Buffalo, New York had their largest jump because people were getting together. They were getting sick. They were getting the flu. And they started to put placards on homes. Don't come here. The, there's flu. And in fact, like in um, Salt Lake City, 2,000 homes were quarantined. You couldn't go near them. And they were identified uh, as... Uh, illness was there. One of the headlines said, police raid saloons in war on influenza, keep 
church windows open at least, flu curfew to sound for city on Saturday night. So all of this stuff that's happening, it happened back then. And then, well, they, um, they just wanted people not to celebrate. And they didn't want them to congregate, just like now. Be careful. This is how they determined people were getting it. And the more people that got together, the more people got sick. And then they developed a vaccine. And they started giving the vaccine to people, hoping that it would help. Back then, they didn't have any of the medical knowledge that we do, none of the testing procedures. And sadly, uh, the vaccine was a vaccine against a bacterial infection, not a virus. They didn't know N1 um, was, a, was a, a virus. They thought it was bacteria. So this whole other wave comes up and they started a campaign saying that Santa Claus is down with the flu, so please don't get together. Salvation Army was canceling uh, parties and, and literally one third of the world's population one-third of the world's population became infected with this virus. And it just kept going until the summer of 1919. Um, Markle, in his book, he said there was only one reason that these people got sick right up to the end. It was because they did not social distance. And they would gather, mask or not, and that's how it spread and kept spreading. Well... I want to encourage you to um, not say it's unprecedented. I want to encourage you to not think we don't have any examples here of what to do. We do. Uh, 1918, 1919. And I hope and pray that you'll just stay safe. And if you're going to be with some people, wear a mask with those people. Uh, our kids aren't getting sick at school. They're getting sick because some stranger or family member that has it comes in contact with. So, happy Thanksgiving. I thought it was fascinating to read about 1918 influenza epidemic and the parallels. But what we could get from that is God didn't give us a spirit of fear and He didn't give us a spirit of stupidity either. We can learn from history. So stay safe. I'd say if you could, stay at home. God bless you and thanks for going deeper. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.